Consider an instruction pipeline with four stages S1, S2, S3 and S4 each with a combinational circuit only. The pipeline registers are required between each stage and at the end of the last stage. Delays for the stages and for the pipeline registers are as given in the figure. So this is the figure that is given. What is the approximate speed up of the pipeline in steady state under ideal conditions when compared to the corresponding non-pipeline implementation? So we know that these, this particular uh, instruction pipeline is having four stages. This is S1 with a delay of 5 nanoseconds, stage 2 with a delay of 6 nanoseconds, stage 3 delay is 11 nanoseconds and stage 4 delay is 8 nanoseconds. Now if it is a non-pipelined kind of an implementation, these interstage buffers, they will not be present. So what will be the total time taken by each instruction in a non-pipelined implementation would be the time taken by each of the stage. So that would be 5 plus 6 plus 11 plus 8 that will give us 30 nanoseconds. Now if it is a pipelined uh, implementation then the clock cycle would be the maximum of the time that is required by each stage because each stage has to complete its task in one clock cycle. So what should be the clock cycle time? It should be the maximum time that is required by the different stages. So we see here that 11 nanoseconds is the maximum time required by any stage plus we add the time that will be required by the interstage buffer which is 1 nanosecond. So the time for each stage would be 11 plus 1, 12 nanoseconds. Now if we ignore the latency of the first instruction, then each subsequent instruction takes one clock cycle to complete. That is the ideal CPI, clock cycle per instruction is one clock cycle. And that we know that one clock cycle is 12 nanoseconds. So each instruction will take 12 nanoseconds to complete. So what will be the speed up? Non-pipeline implementation was 30. Pipeline implementation, each instruction requires 12 nanoseconds. So 30 upon 12 speed up will be 2.5. Another example is consider a six stage instruction pipeline where all stages are perfectly balanced. Assume that there is no cycle time overhead of pipelining. When an application is executing on this six stage pipeline, so the speed up achieved with respect to non pipeline execution if 25% of the instructions incur a two pipeline stall. So in a non-pipeline uh, implementation, since it is a six stage instruction uh, setup, each instruction will require six clock cycles. And in a pipeline implementation, the time for 75% of the instructions which are occurring or being executed without a stall, it would be one clock cycle because that is the time required by each instruction in a pipeline, one clock cycle per instruction. Now for the remaining 25% where a stall is occurring, so one clock cycle plus two pipeline cycle stall, so total would be three cycles with a stall. So what would be the total time in a pipeline implementation 0 0.75 into 1 which is this without stall plus 0 0.25 into 3 which is with the stall. This gives a total of 1.5. So what is the speed up? Non-pipeline is 6, pipeline is 1.5. So 6 upon 1.5 which will be equal to 4. So this is the speed up that will be achieved.